everyone. So today we're gonna cover turn on the haunches. So turn on the haunches is when your horse is gonna move their front end around their hindquarters. So their hindquarters are gonna stay for the most part still while their front feet swing around. This is really useful for a number of reasons. Number one, it helps your horse learn to be light on their forehand, which is huh, the best. It can also incorporate into things like leg yields or side passes or just those lateral movements. It's also a great thing to teach your horse if you're just looking for some groundwork to do or work in the saddle. It can also just be used throughout your day, opening gates, getting your horse to respect your personal space and things like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna first teach Tucker turn on the haunches on the ground. Once he has it down on the ground, I'm gonna get in the saddle and go from there and I'm just gonna take y'all along with me. And real quick, we also made a video about turn on the forehand, which we published last week. So if you wanna check out that video, I have the link in the description for you. And before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. So my goal today with turn on the haunches is to get my horse to pivot on its hind end. And the way they're gonna do this is by moving their shoulders over and around. To do this, they're gonna have to step one foot in front of the other with their front legs. So the first thing I'm gonna start working on when it comes to turn on the haunches is just getting my horse to move their shoulders over. The great thing about teaching this on the ground is that it correlates to teaching your horse to respect your personal space. So what I'm gonna do to do this is I'm just gonna use my body and my space to encourage him to move his shoulders away from me. So a simple and easy way I start doing this with any horse really, whether I'm teaching my personal space or I'm teaching turn on the haunches, is I bring my hand up to their eye and my hand is just gonna act like a wall. And what I can do is I can make a pushing motion with my hand to encourage my horse to move away from me. And in turn, they're just gonna naturally move their shoulders over and cross one foot in front of the other. So I'm gonna put my hand up to his eye, make a pushing motion, but then I'm also gonna step my body towards him to encourage him to move away. So you see how he turns his neck and he immediately steps his legs over. I'll do it again for you guys. So bring my hand, step towards him, and he's gonna step their shoulders away from me. So if this is something new to your horse, your horse may not know what to do in the beginning. So you really need to stress stepping towards them so they learn it's your space they're moving away from. Another thing you can do is also use your lead rope just right at their shoulder to encourage them to step away with that shoulder. And so just using it and kind of swinging it at them We'll ask them to move away. So once your horse has mastered moving their shoulders away from you, you can go on to a little bit more complicated methods and techniques. So what I'm gonna do with Tucker now is I'm just gonna ask him to move his shoulders around me. And once again, I'm just kind of working that button, seeing what he knows, how responsive he's gonna be. Cause when I get in the saddle, I want him to be really responsive. So real quick, I'll just show you guys a few more exercises you can do on the ground with your horse and then we'll correlate that to in the saddle. So another technique you can do once you feel like your horse has accomplished the last technique I showed you is you can stand a few feet in front of them and I'm gonna stand on the side that I want my horse to move away from. So I want him to move this way. So I'm gonna stand on this side. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my crop just to encourage his shoulders to move over. I'm also just gonna walk in front of him to encourage him to move away in this way. So, good. And you can see that his shoulders move over when I do that, so I'll do it this way. Good boy. I'll go back this way. Good. Good boy. Another way you can start incorporating your horse to turn on the haunches is when you're lunging them and you ask them to change direction. So to change the direction when lunging, what I'm gonna do is ask my horse to turn their hind end away from me, but then once they're facing me, I'm gonna ask them to move their shoulders over. So one last thing you can do on the ground with your horse when it comes to turn on the haunches is use your fence line to encourage them to take a few steps with their shoulders. So as y'all can see, I'm on my fence line here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use the same cue I've been using to get him to move his shoulders. 
to move away from me and along the fence. So he has to take a few steps um, with his shoulders and keep his hind end still. Good boy. And so you can just work on completely changing your horse's direction back and forth with this exercise. So I'll do it the other way. boy. So now that I feel confident on the ground that Tucker understands what I'm asking and he can move his shoulders over smoothly, I'm going to get in the saddle and I'm going to work on this from the saddle. So once I'm on my horse, I'm going to come back to my fence line and what I'm going to do is ask my horse just to move their shoulders about one step and that's all I want. I'm going to reward them and let them know that that is what I'm looking for. But before I do that, I'd like to go over the cues I'm going to use to get him to step over like that. So let's say I'm moving this way in the beginning. So on the side I'm moving away from, I'm just gonna hold my rein and I just wanna pressure to encourage him to move away. So one thing I can do if I need to is lay the rein against his neck to encourage him to move this way. And then with my leg, I'm just gonna use it right at my girth and I'm just gonna squeeze with my heel right behind his elbow to ask him to step his shoulders over. So on the side I wanna move towards, what I'm gonna do with my rein is I'm just gonna open my rein like this to encourage my horse to move into that spot. And then I'm just gonna do the same thing with my hip. I'm gonna open my hip to encourage the horse to move into this spot and move in this direction. All right, so now it's time to try my turn on the haunches. So I'm gonna do my cues. And once again, remember, you're only looking for the slightest movement in the right direction at first. I'll let him know that that's what I want. So, oh, good boy. So as y'all can see with that, he just swung his front end right over. Let me try the other way. Good boy. So as you can tell, what is happening is he's changing direction simply by just moving his front end. He's not moving his hind end, but he's just swinging his shoulder over to change direction. Because the horse will go in the way their shoulder points. So I'll go back to my fence. Good boy. So once again, I'm going to open, open my hip. And there we go. Good boy. I'll go back. Good boy. Good boy. Boy. So one thing to be aware of is that I notice a lot of horses when they first start doing this will like to back up and then do a turn on the haunches. Uh, ideally, you don't let your horse back up. This movement requires a forward motion, so you want them to be able to walk into it. And so if your horse does start to back up when you're asking them to do this, you can just ask them to step forward and then ask for the turn. But yeah, that's just something to know, something to be aware of, is that you don't want them backing and then turning. So now that Tucker is really comfortable doing the turn on the haunches at the fence, I've moved to the middle of the arena and I'm gonna try it here. Um, one thing to be aware of also is, in the beginning, away from the fence, your horse may be more apt to walk out of the movement. So it's important to just do enough of the movement so the horse can stay within it and then stop and reward them before they walk out of it. You don't want the horse walking out of it and then you're rewarding them. So I'm gonna just start off small, asking him to move his feet over and just taking one step. And then from there, I'll ask him to go around in a complete circle. All right, so away from my fence, I'm just looking for one step. Good boy, good boy, and that was good. I'll go back the other way, good boy. All right, so now that he seems pretty comfortable with that, I'm going to see if I can do a complete circle, turn on the haunches. Oh, that was good. Good boy. So once you have turn on the haunches down at a standstill, you can now start working at it at a walk. So what I'm going to do is use my fence line. I'm going to walk parallel to the fence line, and then I'm going to ask my horse to turn on the haunches at a walk. Be sure to check out that other video we have published the week before, Turn on the Forehand, and that'll explain how you can teach your horse to turn on the forehand. All right, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Comment down below any video ideas you have for us or anything you'd like us to explain or that you'd like to see. And make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.